surprising to see Duncan have, have so little space. It seemed like the, the opposite of what happened with Forbes. That never happened. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, everyone knows Duncan can shoot the basketball really well, so they're not going to give him any breathing room. And, uh, you know, that's on us a little bit, too, to get to set better screens with him as well. You know, he's got to be able to have better cuts and get over. Forbes and Derek kind of had a pretty physical battle most of the game. What did you see from Derek? I mean, you know, he fought hard. I mean, some of those just got to tip his head. He made some tough shots, but other ones he had wide open looks. And I think that came to with us just trying to break the rhythm. And we tried everything we could in the first half, and they weren't, weren't missing much. We were trying to switch up between man and zone. You know where we sit way up there. Um, this outburst that you mentioned before, what, when was it? We, I see, actually see this happen. What uh, happened? When was it? This, it was in the second half. Um, just upset. Just a lot. Just frustrated with these past two games we've had. You know, just trying to fire up the guys and um, just blowing off some steam. And I mean, obviously the game wasn't going our way, but I didn't want anyone to just lay down and let it just walk all over us. Does this team need more? Need more of that? I think so. I mean, right now, more than ever, uh, two tough, two losses, blowout losses. I mean, it's definitely a humbling experience for us right now, and we just gotta get back to the drawing board and learn from it. What needs to happen? I mean, even if you're not, like you said, going to come back from down 20 in the second half, what needs to happen to, like you said, keep it respectable and, and avoid what happened today? It's just all with our start. Um, today we had a, they, they were hot from the beginning of the game. We can't dig these holes. I mean, going into halftime down 20 points, that's tough to do, especially with how well they're shooting the ball. I mean, we just got to play better in transition. We got to be able to guard our own man. What was John's message after you? Because, you know, two straight days of this. Yeah, I mean, it's like we got beat the same way twice. I mean, I think that's all of our losses. We've, we've lost the same way, and we can't let that happen. Uh, we got to learn from it. I mean, obviously, you got to tip your head on some of the shots they made. They made some tough shots, but also a lot of them are open. And uh, I just think we got to take more pride, I'd say, in just guarding your man. You know, like what John said last game, you know, you got to give the credit to Indiana. They're just doing you know, a really, really good team. Now, I imagine he's going to say the same thing mm -hmm. today. Do you guys think that you're still capable of being as good as these, as the two teams you just played? Yeah, I think so. I mean, obviously we got to keep growing. Um, like I said before, I think this is uh, this week has been very humbling for us. Um, we know every game is going to be tough. But, I mean, we haven't really played that many teams. And I'd say the top five, I would say. And um, I mean, IU and Michigan State are. And like I said, we haven't been able to play our game. We've We've been too busy relying on jump shots, and they're not going in for us. So we got to find another way to score. We got to get the free throw line. But also, like I said, after the IU loss, we can't let that stop what we're doing defensively.